Majority leader? Yes. Honorable Speaker, thank you. And you know, this is a matter, Honorable Speaker, that uh, we even conversed in the House Business Committee. Yes. And uh, even this morning in our parliamentary group meeting, it was an agenda, part of the agenda in our parliamentary group meeting, on the commitment of our chairs and our vice chairs. Because, Honorable Speaker, as you say rightly, if the chair is not there, there is no reason why the vice chair would not be here. And to say the least, Honorable Speaker, we are all very frustrated as a house with the performance of our chairs. And I just want to put it on record, Honorable Speaker, that we have now done the full cycle of one year, one calendar year, as chairs and vice chairs of the house. Members at liberty, without interference from the office of the majority leader or that of the whip, to put in place chairs and vice chairs who will work and be available in the House, Honorable Speaker, because that is the only way we will have chairs and vice chairs who are committed to their work. Because, Honorable Speaker, as you say, chairs are earning a responsibility allowance. The vice chairs are also earning a responsibility allowance as vice chairs. When they chair committees, they earn more than any other member of that committee, Honorable Speaker. And it is very extremely unfair to the house and to the country to be earning money that you are not working for. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I just want to advise, especially those of our members in Kenya Kwanzaa, if you have a chair of a committee who is inept, do what you have to do to give us an efficient and effective chair who will help us to transact business in the house. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Members. I don't want to open debate on that. The majority leader has spoken for you. Order, Wanjiku Muya. I do not want to open debate on that, but I want